What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that I got on yesterday's video actually. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So yesterday I posted a video on how I became a level 3 seller on Zazzle, Zazzle.com. For those who don't know, Zazzle.com is similar to any other print-on-demand site out there. The only main difference uh, is that Zazzle obviously has been around for a really long time. It's one of the OGs, but it allows you to customize certain products. And customers come to Zazzle for this customization feature. If they have a wedding and they need to buy a bunch of plates for their wedding or a or a bunch of keychains, or, or you know, maybe there's a bridal shower, maybe there's a baby shower, you know, whatever it is, um, any kind of celebration, any situation really, for anything that's customizable, um, Zazzle can pr do it really, and they have the ability to craft thousands of products literally. So that's what makes Zazzle special, and that's the video that I shared. I had a question from somebody um, when they were listening to my story of how I became a level three seller called EJ Kim and Rahman Kaur. And they asked, uh, that's informative. Are you saying that you can use the exact same design on multiple platform sites or POD sites? And the answer is, I'm going to, you guys don't even have to wait for the video. The answer is yes, you do. You are allowed to use the exact same design on multiple sites. However, here's the caveat. It's not going to be as nearly as profitable as you think. And I'm going to explain. Now, don't get me wrong. There are certain platforms that are great matches where you can post the exact same design, have very well uh, sales on both of these platforms. In fact, I've had it myself. Um, however, you just want to be aware that there are certain strategies and are certain things that make platforms different. OK, so from the uh, legality aspect to it, and I'm not a lawyer, but I'm just saying from my personal experience, from the things that I've read on these certain websites, Redbubble, Zazzle, all these different platforms, they do allow you to take your design that you've made and post it on multiple websites. The only thing is that you have to realize that these platforms are built differently, and I'll explain what I mean. Okay, let's take an example of Merch by Amazon. Let's take Redbubble, for example. Okay, these are two different platforms that are very different when it comes to the way that, you know, products are being searched for, things like that. Uh, Amazon, Merch by Amazon has your title feature, your, um, your uh, brand name. Uh, it has, you know, different descriptions, uh, the description, excuse me, different things like that, right? Redbubble, however, doesn't have a brand name, right? It's just a title and your tags, and that's really it. And if you look at the success behind Redbubble, and we spoke about this in the tagging course, so if you're not familiar, autopilotpassiveincome.com, head over to the Redbubble tagging course if you need some help with that. If you look at Redbubble, most of the success for the Redbubble, uh, you know, for your design to show up on Redbubble and what it's controlled for in the search has to do with tagging most of the time, like like 99% of the time, all right? So in that case, you can use the designs from Merch by Amazon over to Redbubble simultaneously. It's not going to be a problem, right? The only thing is, is you have to keep in mind the way it's tagged, the way it's set up, the keywords that you're using, all these different characteristics that actually matter, okay? And this same idea applies to any other website out there. There are some websites where the designs will be able to fit very well on multiple platforms, and then there are some designs where it won't really be favorable. I'll give you an example, okay? Let's say I have a design. If you guys are familiar with the old Redbubble store that I created, uh, let's say like a, a quote, okay, like a motivational quote. Well, I could put that on Merch by Amazon. It will work perfectly fine. I could put that on Redbubble. work perfectly fine. On TeePublic, it will work perfectly fine, right? But let's say I have Society6, okay? On Society6, it might not work as well, and I'll tell you why from the design. Society6 is a wall art type of platform. Uh, not just wall art, obviously, there's other things that you could sell on Society6, but let's just agree that majority of products that are sold on Society6 have to do with wall art. For those who don't know what Society6 is, let me just go ahead and whip it out here. Society6, let's go ahead and do that. Um, Let's go ahead and show it here. Majority of it is, is wall art. Okay, yes, you can get rugs and things like that. But let's be honest, it's 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 not like t-shirts and things like that. Okay, it's more very graphical representations of things. The things that tend to sell most on uh, Society6, which we'll share in a, in a future video, is, you know, different photos, different designs, different pieces of art, abstract art, things like that, right? 
these things that sell on Society6 don't necessarily, um, or the things that sell on Red Bull don't necessarily sell as well on Society6, right? Um, and if I have a, just a bland quote, just a quote with black and white text, hoping that it will sell in Society6, well, the reality is, is that there's much more graphical representations out there of certain designs on Society6 than there, than there is on Redbubble. So for me, it really wouldn't be logical to take that design and put it there. Now, I'll say this. If you're using an automation tool, kind of like what I do, and you take the tool and you upload your design to the tool through, you know, the Excel sheet, all that kind of stuff, and you have the Excel sheet, you put up the tags, the title, etc., you put up all the data, what happens is, is these software tools will deploy them to multiple sites. That is a strategy on its own, and it does work. Don't get me wrong, but you have to realize there you are going to be leaving some money on the table. The approach is that if you did everything manually, if you did everything differently, there could be scenarios and there could be situations where you can apply better tactics, better results, better tags to each individual platform. However, if and only if you take uh, the automation tool and you and you deploy these designs to all sites at once, yes, you will be saving time. Yes, you might be making a little more money if you're just on one uh, on all these platforms than on one platform, but you still are leaving money on the table because the, the d those specific designs that you put, let's say that red bubble winning design, you put it on Society6, might not necessarily work as well. If you tweaked a few things, it might work better, but obviously we both know that's not how these automation tools work. And automation tools don't serve the whole population of print on demand. Let's be 100% honest. Not everybody uses these automation tools to upload to, let's say, five or six platforms at once. Not everybody does that. In fact, I would say the majority doesn't do that. Uh, so if I was to give just general advice for everybody watching is Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, Public. They work perfectly. You can take that design, put it on all of them, uh, perfectly fine. Uh, Society6, um, is kind of like its own category sometimes, I would say sometimes. Uh, like I said, it's more graphical, it's more artistic, it's more... And when I say artistic, I'm not talking about drawing. I'm just talking about... It, it's more visually, uh, uh, I guess you could say, attentive, right? There's... Let me just... You know what? I'll give you guys a perfect example. I, I don't even need to talk. Let's go ahead and search Unicorn, okay, on Redbubble, all right? Let's go ahead and search Unicorn. What do you see? You see a sticker of a unicorn, first one. Now let's go ahead and search the exact same thing here. I want to show you guys different examples, okay? Do you guys see this? It's not like a, you know, like a black and white image. There's like this advanced backgrounds to them. There's like this advanced kind of stuff to it, right? That's what I'm trying to say is that there's, it's different, okay? The, the thing that might work necessarily on Red Bull might not necessarily work on Society6. However, you can take that approach because when you take, let's say this is your design, right? And you deploy it to multiple sites. Yeah, you might be aware that there's a low chance of it selling on another platform, but just having it there is also a great opportunity. So it's not something that necessarily is bad. But from, a, like I said, from a legality aspect, from, you know, and are you allowed to do the kind of thing? Yeah, you're 100% allowed to post your designs on multiple platforms. In fact, you can have your own website, post your designs on your own website, and then post them on other websites. That's completely free to do as well. Um, but what you have to realize is that just because you're posting them on other platforms it doesn't mean they'll have the same success level, okay? Um, and, and that's something I just want everybody to be 100% aware of when you work on these things, right? Because there are certain things that make these platforms different. I've talked about this before, but when we talked about the uh, Zazzle course, right? In the Zazzle course, I think maybe in the intro or something like that, I specifically said the way you tag with Zazzle is pretty much opposite to the way you tag with Redbubble. Um, and I'm not going to get into that now because obviously it's in the courses, it's described, but for those who took the Redbubble tagging course, which there are much more students on the Redbubble tagging course than there is on the Zazzle course, but for the people who are on the Redbubble tagging course, right, we have a specific way of doing things, and I've showed how we do it before. Um, you know, there's certain pieces of advice that other people give around tagging. We show how to do it the right way, all right? With Zazzle, Everything that that I've talked about goes out the window, and I've and, and I've spoken about this in yesterday's video, right? In yesterday's video, and the reason why I did is because I said the first roughly three months, I mean, just about the first ninety like two days, ninety one days on Zazzle was zero success. Luckily, luckily, I had gotten a bulk order sale 
at the very end. And that bulk order sale started to make me think differently because it was just, you know, it was a it was a look of the draw, right? It, the reality is if I wasn't making any sales, I probably wasn't going to continue making sales. But unless I changed something, and I did. And I started going back and I started changing my approach to working on Redbubble and I said, uh, excuse me, Zazzle. And I said, I'm not going to treat Zazzle the same way I treat Redbubble. I'm not going to treat Redbubble the same way I treat Zazzle. They're two different platforms entirely. And it's unfair to do so for myself because... I can expect the same results. They're different platforms, different audiences, and different products. All right? So hopefully that answers your question. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.